You will find most of the materials in the lab kit. However, you will need to provide a long stem lighter or long stem matches, an oven mitt, a hot pad or pot mat, here we are using a ceramic tile, and distilled water. Weigh the 100 milliliter beaker and record its mass. Place the weigh boat on the balance. Look for a button that is labeled tear or just the letter T. When you press this button, the mass will read zero. Slowly add the unknown beam mixture to the weighing boat. Allow the balance to give a stable measurement. Continue to add the mixture until you have about 2 grams. Record the exact mass of your mixture. Pour the mixture into the 100 milliliter beaker. Use the 100 milliliter graduated cylinder to add 25 milliliters of distilled water to the mixture. Stir for 5 to 10 minutes. Weigh the 250 milliliter beaker and watch glass together. Record their mass. Decant the liquid from the 100 milliliter beaker to the 250 milliliter beaker. Using a stirring rod helps minimize any dripping. To wash the sand, add 5 more milliliters of distilled water to the sand and stir. Again, decant the liquid from the 100 milliliter beaker to the 250 milliliter beaker. The sand wash can be repeated a few times. Set the 250 milliliter beaker aside. Do not dispose of the contents. You will need this solution for part two. You will use a sterno burner to dry the sand. Make sure to perform this part on a heat resistant surface. Use a long stem match or lighter to light the burner. Be careful, the flame on the burner is hard to see. Place the wire mesh stand over the burner. Place the 100 milliliter beaker containing the wet sand on the wire mesh stand. Monitor the sand as it dries. If the sand gets too hot, it may start to spatter. Use your oven mitt to slide the burner away from the beaker. Let the beaker cool a bit and then move the burner back to continue drying the sand. Once the sand is dry, use your oven mitt to remove the beaker from the wire mesh stand and place the beaker on a hot pad or hot mat. Allow the beaker to cool to room temperature, and once the beaker has cooled, use your balance to weigh the beaker and record its mass. Place the 250 milliliter beaker with the salt water on the wire mesh stand over the ignited burner. Place the watch glass over the beaker. Monitor the salt as it dries. If the contents of the beaker get too hot and start to spatter, use your oven mitt to slide the burner out from underneath the wire mesh stand. 
Allow the beaker to cool a bit and slide the burner back under the wire mesh stand. Continue doing this until the salt is completely dry. This will take at least 20 minutes. When the salt is completely dry, use the test tube clamp to slide the burner out from under the wire mesh stand. Then use the test tube clamp and the burner lid to extinguish the flame on the burner. Leave the 250 milliliter beaker with the watch glass on the wire mesh stand and allow to cool. Once the beaker and the watch glass have cooled to room temperature, weigh the two together and record their mass. Additionally, once the burner has cooled to room temperature, make sure it is tightly closed. You should now have all the necessary measurements to calculate the percent sand and percent salt of your mixture.